robots duking it out in the city. Except this is quite good, and it has one of the most obscure titles around, Robot Alchemic Drive. <laughs> Robot Alchemic Drive is an homage to the classic robot series that dominated Japanese television in the 70s. It effectively combines the melodrama of a soap opera and the action sequences of a Godzilla movie. The result is a surprisingly good mech title. You play a 17-year-old high school student in Japan. Your father has died and left a giant robot known as a Mega Knight in your control. With the help of your family's secret underground peacekeeping organization, you must defend Japan and the world from evil alien robots called Volgara. Volgara? Much of the appeal of Robot Alchemic Drive comes from the method used to control your Mega Knight. Your point of view is limited to what your character can see, so when you switch to robot control, you have to make sure you're positioned well. Moving the robot is a matter of using the shoulder buttons to control the legs and the analog sticks to move the arms for punches or defense. This is a bit clumsy at first, but after some practice, it becomes workable. The built-in awkwardness adds to the feeling of controlling a machine the size of a building. Keep the damage to a minimum, and you'll be paid bonuses that can be used to upgrade your Mega Knight's weapons and abilities. With over 50 missions and 10 or more endings per character, Robot Alchemic Drive also packs plenty of playtime. That is, if you can handle the intentionally bad voice acting. Robots kill people! A robot killed Grandma! Despite the cheesy story and overlong cutscenes, Robot Alchemic Drive is simply fun to play. It's unlike just about anything else out there. Does humankind stand a chance against this horrifying foe? We give it a four out of five.